Hi, I'm Bob LaRosa. Welcome to Fix My Hog. I'd like to take a moment and just review a common issue. I get a lot of questions, a lot of concerns. I myself do a lot of adjustments when it comes to a hard neutral or a difficult time finding neutral, particularly when forward controls are involved. Obviously, your clutch needs to be adjusted correctly, both internally and in the overall cable length. You need to make sure you have proper lever movement, that nothing's impeding the lever from going all the way to the bar. A lot of times I see oversized hand grips cause a multitude of problems that don't allow the lever to go all the way back and allow the clutch pack to release. But taking for granted the clutch is adjusted correctly inside, the cable's adjusted correctly on the length of the cable, you have proper free play on the lever at the perch. The next logical step to address is leverage. And I, don't, I can't stress enough how important proper alignment between the shift arm that enters the case on a Sportster and the overall length of the shift rod is. I see a lot of these motorcycles set up where this particular shift arm is not in correct location on the spline. So when you go to shift the motorcycle, the arm itself contacts the outer primary and limits the shift. And again, it's something, it's very noticeable, but until you do it incorrectly, you don't really realize the importance of proper leverage between the arm, the shift rod, and the shift pedal and peg itself. In this case, you're never going to get a nice firm first gear. You're going to push down on the lever and it's going to cause binding against the outer primary. So the first thing to do is make sure that this arm, and it's typically only one spline away, has plenty of room to the outer primary. There's just one spline difference in what I did there. You can see it won't contact there, but one spline back and the whole thing mashes against the outer primary. That is the most critical area that I most commonly correct and it seems to correct a lot of the issues with difficulty getting into gear or finding neutral. The next in line now you can certainly run this shift arm in any position. You can run it to the point where it hits the wrong side of the outer primary, the forward side. Typically you want these to be almost straight up and down. That way there they've got lots of room to do their job. Once you have that in the correct position where there's clearance to shift through, the gears find neutral. The next in line is to adjust the heim joints and shift rod as an assembly in order to get the correct distance between the shift peg and the foot peg. And when I say correct distance, I'm talking about riding comfortably where your foot fits underneath the shift peg and it's easy enough to raise your toe or raise the front of your shoe in order to upshift, but again, it's easy enough to put your foot on top of the shifter to downshift. Again, leverage plays a very important part in proper shifting and ease of finding neutral.